Hey everybody, how you doing? Harold Reed here. Welcome to another video inside the HRJR Motivational Video Group. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. I've been uh, working on some other things, some other projects, uh, putting some things together. I have some speaking engagements coming up and basically just doing a lot of running around, staying active. But uh, I haven't forgotten you, I haven't neglected you, and I'm always thinking about you guys. So uh, I'm starting my day. It's about 6.30 in the morning and uh, I just had some things on my mind and I also wanted to share with you some things we had coming up. Um, what I want to talk to you about today briefly is the appreciation I have for silence. Um, and, and, and I know for those of you who, who kind of know me uh, and me having the tendency to be as outspoken as I can be from time to time it might seem hard or, or strange hearing me talk about the appreciation of silence. However, have you ever been in a class of some sort and there's always just that one person, that one guy in the class or female in the class who might have a little bit, either they, they have some knowledge or they read a chapter ahead or they're just the know-it-all blabbermouth and they just want to sit up there and converse with the teacher as though they're on the same level as the teacher and they're exhibiting their self-perceived delusional intelligence or superior intelligence. Um, sometimes it's best to just be quiet. Sometimes it's best to just shut up. Sometimes it's best to just be humble and let your test scores do the talking for you. See, some people in life need to have that that's how they validate themselves instead of letting the world validate them by how they carry themselves and how they prevent excuse me how they present themselves they have to exert themselves or or put themselves out there to show they have to actively show hey I know this I know that sometimes all you have to do is just be quiet and, and let your actions speak for themselves you don't have to always go off at the mouth and you know what this is a lesson learned because I can honestly say there have been times in my life when I have been that dude but the difference between me and that dude is that I've learned I've learned it's like Stephanie Mills song I learned to respect the power of love you know I learned to respect the power of silence I've learned to just you know, let somebody else do all the running off at the mouth and I just sit there and listen to the teacher or the instructor uh, go home or go to the library, get my study on and let my test scores speak for themselves and let that person who was so smart crash and burn if, if, if that's what it comes out to be. So even if you know something, even if you know a lot about something, if you're not teaching the class and you're sitting in the, in the, in the, in the student seats with the rest of the students, be a student. Stay in your lane. Play your role. You know, um, it's just something because I'm, I'm taking a couple classes right now, and I just had a guy. There's a guy in my class who's just running off at the mouth, and it's it's, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna be positive about it. I'm positive it's gonna be a problem if he keeps it up. But that's just something that was on my mind. Um, so again, you know, be who you are inside, and let the strength and power of who you are inside naturally exude outside and if it has to manifest itself let it manifest this manifest itself in in what you do in the essence and the content of what you do be it uh, how you carry yourself uh, how, how, how your test results end up how, how you end the day the, the things you've done let that be the the measuring stick to your greatness all right. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Moving forward, though, we have some great things coming up with HRJR Enterprises. Uh, I'll be speaking next week at Long Island Aviation High School, um, and we do we didn't do uh, Find a Way Radio on Blog Talk Radio. We didn't do the Find a Way Show uh, this past Sunday because it was Mother's Day. However, this coming Sunday we will be back 6 p.m. 6:30 p.m. Blog Talk Radio. Uh, I will put a link on the page. If you need one, just go to Blog Talk Radio and look up Find a Way, like in the title of my book. Um, our, uh, my guest will be uh, actress, model, singer, songwriter, producer, 
Rona Bennett, and she's she's great. Here's a picture of Ro. Okay, um, Rona Bennett is a dear friend, um, and I can't wait for her to share her story with you. She's also a motivational speaker and life coach as well. So we're gonna really, really have an empowering show. We're gonna pack a lot of content in a little bit of time. Cause as always, don't want to take up a lot of your time, but I want to leave you with a lot to think about. That having been said, um, I'm gonna go back to getting on with the rest of my day. And I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, I'm on my day, baby. What, what, I know you love me.